Stratus in a nutshell. So I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about Stratus, and it's for a very good reason as well. Stratus has gone into the top tens of cryptocurrencies and it's growing at a massive, massive rate. Today I'm going to talk about why it's very interesting and the key features and innovations behind Stratus. So first of all, to under, really understand why enterprise will want to uh, use something like Stratus or use the blockchain, you'll want to watch my video to explain why big companies are interested in the blockchain. One example I'm going to really cover today is something that hits really big home to me, which is potentially you can actually use blockchain technology as a huge database to keep in-game items. I make video games and I actually just found out that I could potentially use Stratus for that. And this is going to be a case example of explaining why that's so fast and cool and interesting for me and why this technology is really, really novel. So I'm just using my personal case example. So first of all, let's explain a little bit about what Stratus is. Stratus is a very easy way to deploy a custom blockchain. It's essentially blockchain for dummies. It's essentially database for dummies. And what block, um, Stratus has over Bitcoin is it's based on Bitcoin technology. So it has the reliability, the scalability, and the decentralization aspects of Bitcoin. So I can manage basically a huge database, maybe of a lot of in-game items. You know, players love to play video games and they have you know weapons and stuff. And these are all database entries. Your your weapon that you're holding is actually just a uh, a number in a database. And the thing is, like players get very upset if they lose those items, you know, they worked hard for them. And with blockchain technology, you can keep track of these items. You can prevent duplications. You can prevent people exploiting the system and you can do it for a relatively cheap price. So even in that case example, even for me, I actually think blockchain technology could be applied for video games and strategy could be a possible solution. And that goes on to explain the next point. The thing is Bitcoin technology is based on the language C++. And that language is highly efficient, but also it's a little bit more complicated to program in. You know, when you're making with Stratus, they're actually using kind of the similar solution, but using the language C sharp. C sharp is a more modern language. It has more overhead, but it's actually much easier to learn. Well, for some people anyways, I'm not going to go into a programming debate over this, but there are some enterprises that prefer using C sharp. And one example of that is actually Unity. So I actually use, we actually use Unity, a program called Unity to develop our apps. And Unity is actually really, really easy to learn. You can over basically learn it over a week and just start programming video games. And it uses C Sharp. And there's actually going to be Stratus integration into Unity. That's mind blowing for me because Unity is super cool and you can develop various apps for basically um, and various apps and games for Android, iOS, and other different systems with just one click. You can just switch your development into these things. So that's the beauty of a kind of this modern software development where it's just so fast to learn and develop. And what Stratus provides is it provides integration to do this. It provides a framework for different companies who are interested in just using blockchain technology to do it relatively quickly. They do have two different systems though. If you think about currency and just tracking the Stratus token, that's what um, people will probably be interested in buying, uh, the Stratus token. The tracking token is maintained by the primary blockchain. So that's the whole purpose of that chain is to maintain the ins and outs of this currency. But Stratus always al also allows you to build a custom private blockchain for your own needs. For example, if I wanted to build my video game that tracks items with blockchain technology, I can use it on a custom chain that all it does is it tracks in-game items. You know, the transfer of, you know, in-game gold, the transfer of in-game weapons, they can all be tracked with Stratus. So they can actually build a custom solution for me and you can actually just start applying for something like this on Stratus. Stratus is actually hosted with Microsoft, so that's kind of cool. So they're working with Microsoft to bring kind of this hosting solution. So you can actually just really turn, it's it's a really a turnkey solution. You know, you kind of um, figure out what you need and you go to Microsoft, you start the server and you're good to go. 
Like that takes less than a week, a few days to do a max. And you can start deploying technology for us. And this is a great way for different companies to start experimenting with blockchain technology and trying to figure out if they can apply it for their own purposes. I mean, there is going to be a huge debate, you know, and there's different solutions that work for different for everyone. For example, you know, with Bitcoin, it's in C sharp, it's more efficient then maybe you want to go with the Blockstream solution, which is integrating self um, side chains into um, and using that to do your private transactions. That might be a good solution. Stratish is the C-sharp solution and Bitcoin is the C++ solution. And Ethereum has a very similar thing. The Ethereum, um, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, the EEA, is doing a very similar thing. It's trying to use Ethereum technology for this. The cool thing about Stratus is that it's primary, it's very, very focused down, you know, with Ethereum, there's multiple smart contracts and there's different ways of applying that. But with Stratus, they're very focused on kind of just delivering a very simple and easy to use solution for blockchain technology. And that's why there's so much interest into it. And the very cool thing is, you know, I was talking about, you know, primary chains and side chains. You know, going back to my analogy with the video game, what I can do is I can start, set up a special chain, my private chain for my video game, but they can also interact with the main Stratus chain. And one of the reasons why is perhaps you want to buy in-game items or you want to trade in-game currency for Stratus. You know, right now, in -game, selling in-game items is actually quite hot right now. And perhaps you can actually start doing that with the uh, integration with the side chain and the main chain. And that's where you will start you know, using Stratus and that's where Stratus will get valuable. Maybe you can make a game that uses you know, Stratus as a currency for payment. And that might just take you know, a month to develop because they have all the plugins for Unity already. You know, that's, that's already being developed and they're working on that. And that's the beauty of Stratus. They, they're working on ways to integrate that for different companies. And I feel that's pretty cool. So anyways, if you guys have any questions about Stratus, I covered it with quite a very detailed example, and I felt that was the best approach to do it. But if you guys have any points that you want to ask about Stratus and want me to explain more, I will be glad to explain it. And if, I would love to read your comments below. And as always, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. It's been super, a super fun journey with you guys, just learning about these different things. And Stratus was such a cool thing for me to experiment because, you know, I actually really want to do a project with Stratus. You know, that's the beauty of this. So I, will, I would like to thank everyone for sharing this crypto journey with me. I started nearly three months ago, and it's just been such a blast to share ideas and to talk to and with you guys. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time.